Welcome to the deep dive. Today we're diving into, well, a really intriguing question in military tech. What's the best, maybe the most impressive military aircraft that, well, that never actually got finished <laughs> or used? We're looking at, you know, huge potential, massive investment, and then not much to show for it in the end. Exactly. And then what we're focusing on is uh, pretty legendary in these circles. It's the Boeing Sikorsky RAH-66 Comanche. The Comanche, right. I've heard about this one. It was supposed to be, what was the claim? The claim, and it was a big one, was the most advanced attack helicopter ever conceived. Wow. Okay. Most advanced ever. That's no. that's setting the bar pretty high. It really was. Uh, the thinking behind it was revolutionary for the time. They packed in uh, stealth features, you know, to make it hard to detect. Right. Low observability was a huge part of it. Absolutely. And incredibly advanced avionics, too. The goal was basically an attack helicopter that could sneak deep into enemy territory, totally unseen. OK, so cutting edge stuff. But let's talk money, because the numbers here are kind of staggering. They are. The program cost, get this, seven billion dollars with a B. Seven billion. Wow. Just uh, put that into perspective for us. Well, think about an aircraft carrier. A huge Nimitz class carrier costs around, what, four and a half billion? So you could have bought a carrier and still had change left over. A lot of change. Pretty much, yeah. It just shows <laughs> the sheer scale, the ambition of the project. This wasn't just like tweaking an old design. No, this was ground up pushing the envelope stuff. Definitely. Yeah. You had things like um, a fully digital cockpit, super integrated systems, sensor fusion, giving the pilots this uh, incredible picture of the battlefield. So all that innovation, all that money, what did we actually get? We got two prototypes. Yeah, Jeff. That's it. Two incredibly advanced machines. And they never flew a combat mission, never saw active service. Nope, never. The whole program just got canceled. Canceled after $7 billion. Why? What was the official reason? The main reason they gave points to, well, a major shift in military thinking. Drones. Ah, unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. Exactly. The argument was that drones were sort of becoming the better option, maybe more cost effective for reconnaissance for certain strike missions. So things like longer loiter times, less risk to pilots, that started looking more attractive. Precisely. Both your sensors on drones, lower risk, maybe lower operating costs. Mm -hmm. It presented a real alternative to helicopters like the Comanche. So after all that investment, the justification was basically Attack helicopters themselves were becoming outdated, or at least this kind of hyper expensive one. That was the implication, yeah, which is uh, pretty wild when you think about it. It really is, because some people took that to mean the U.S. military is just done, finished mm. with developing new attack helicopters altogether. That's the really provocative thought, isn't it? An entire class of aircraft potentially sidelined by tech from, well, what seemed like a different area. It just shows how fast things change, how unpredictable military tech evolution can be. Absolutely. You invest billions in what looks like the future, and then something else comes along and uh, changes the whole game. Okay, so let's just recap. The RAH-66 Comanche. Seven billion bucks down the drain, essentially. Well, not entirely drain. The tech likely informed other things, but right. no operational aircraft. Right. Two prototypes built, program scrapped, and the reason given. Attack helicopters might be on the way out, thanks to drones? It's a really stark story. Unrealized potential. Huge yeah. cost. And it had some cool features, too. Remember the internal weapons bays? Oh, yeah, for stealth, right. To keep the profile clean until it fired. That was pretty novel for a helicopter then. Very. It, it serves as this uh, powerful reminder, you know. Even the biggest, best-funded programs can get overtaken by events, by new tech. Which brings us to a final thought, something for you listening to chew on. If the Comanche, with all its advanced tech, stealth, digital systems, everything could be rendered sort of obsolete before it even flew, uh -huh. what other big, potentially revolutionary technologies, maybe not even military ones, could be facing the same thing right now? What might get leapfrogged before it even gets off the ground? It's a really important question, isn't it? Makes uh -huh. you wonder about current investments, current big bets in technology. What's the next drone waiting in the wings that we don't even see coming yet? Yeah. Definitely food for thought. Thanks for exploring that incredible what if with us today.